hi you are welcome to my channel this wonderful channel provides you with stunning elegant creative and educative ideas based on computer techniques if you've not yet subscribed to my channel consider to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss new uploads so let's start our tutorials for today hi viewers you are welcome to my channel in these tutorials i am going to show you how to create your own tab in microsoft word now when you move to this menu bar you can see that we have the file menu we have the home tab we have the insert tab we have the design tab layout tab and other tabs you can create your own tab depending on how you used to work in microsoft word and all these tabs have different ribbons if you want to access the font group you have to come to the home tab if you want to access the illustrations group you have to come to the insert tab if you want to access the page layout the orientation you have to come to the layout tab if you want to view your documents in a read mode or web layout or whatever you have to come to the view tab you can create your own tab and move all these commands from these different tabs into your own tab and in this video i am going to guide you how to do this in microsoft word now to do this just place your cursor in any of the ribbons here right click and you are going to have these three options one is add group to quick access to bar the second one is customize the ribbon and the third one is collapse the ribbon we are going for the second option called customize the ribbon so we have a once click on this and this is going to bring out the this dialog box and we have our customized ribbon selected here and we have two sections here we have the we have all the commands in this particular program and we have these commands which are on the ribbon in microsoft word now to create your own tab we come to this section and beneath we have new tab new group and we have rename we are going to click on new tab and a new tab is going to be created here and this is the new tab we can select and click rename from here and give it a name you can give any name of your choice to this new tab i'm going to give it this a name and click on ok and under the new tab we have this group i also want to group this and change it to my ribbon and click on ok now i have created a tab and also created a ribbon here and i'm going to add commands to this ribbon. so what i'll do is i'll come to this section and the commands i used to work often in microsoft word i'm going to select them so i'll choose copy and click on add i'll choose cut add so you move through and choose all the commands that you normally work with in microsoft word i'll choose the draw table add find command choose the fonts and also let's move to the paste add let's choose the redo save us let's click on this door and choose all commands from this section too so that we can get all the commands behind tests whenever when it comes to shapes uh, let's move through and choose so you just move through and choose all the commands that you work with in microsoft word cover page we have the data form delete option so depending on how you used to work when you are done with this you go straight to this ok button and have a once click now when you come back to your home tab you can see we have file home insert design layout references mailings 
review view and this is the current tab that we just created and when you have a once click you are going to see all these commands here if you want to save this document you don't need to go to file and go and choose save us from this option you just click on your tab and click on save us and you are going to have this dialog box you can give it a name then you click on save to save your document this is very simple and it's very convenient to use so as a microsoft web user you have to learn or you have to know how to create your own tab and organize your commands in this new tab so this is how to create your own tab or custom your own tab in microsoft word i hope this video was helpful to you if so just give this video a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content in the future see you in the next tutorials